So let's scale up our example a bit. We're using a convolutional neural network architecture, which is known as ResNet50. ResNet50 is a 50 layer convolutional neural network with a special property that we are not strictly following the rule that there are only connections between subsequent layers. So ResNet is using so-called residual learning, where actually layers are skipping some connections and connecting to more downstream layers to improve performance. But details on that is beyond the scope of this course. And luckily this class already provides us with a prepared and compiled model. We import an image reader and some pre and post processing helpers, but it's getting even better. We are not only provided with a prepared model, but we are also provided with an already trained model. So in this case we specify that we want to obtain the weights based on a training which has been done on the ImageNet dataset. So the ImageNet dataset is a pre-classified database with over 14 million images in over 27 classes and nearly 22,000 subclasses. Obviously training a 50 layer neural network with 14 million images can take quite some time. So we are lucky that we can just download it. By the way, this process is called transfer learning, especially if we would further improve and train the model with our data. We will test this model with an elephant, which I found in the internet. We load this image and scale it down to 224 by 224 pixels. We turn this into a 3D array, also known as a 3D tensor, with 224 by 224 by 3, since we are working with a colored image. We now expand the shape to 1 by 224 by 224 by 3, because usually we are expecting or we are throwing a bunch of images at a neural network, but in this case we have only one, so the first dimension is one. Then we scale the image, then we normalize the data to range between minus one and plus one. Now it's time to predict the elephant. The output is a vector of size 1000. So we are getting back a vector with class probabilities for 1000 classes, which is not very handy. Therefore we use the decode predictions method and we get back the actual class labels as strings, in this case for the three best classes. Let's execute this cell and while it runs, let's have a look at the image which we are using. So this obviously is an elephant. We download the elephant and we rename it to elephant.jpg because this name we are using here. So as you can see with a probability of 93%, this is an African elephant. So this works pretty well. Note that in the original example, the authors used a different image. So most likely an image of an Indian elephant. Let's try something else. Let's try a bee. Okay, this looks more like a fly, but let's see what happens. Okay, this was a quite difficult example. Even I thought this was a fly and me and the neural network agreed on this. So with a probability of 33% this is a fly and with 26% this is a bee. Anyway, I think you got the point and you see how easy things are getting, especially if you are using all the work others have done.